Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to BSG Customs, guys. I, uh, I wanted to show you guys what I found um, a few days ago. I was looking for someone to strain my acrylic paint. <clears throat> I was having issues with um, this particular paint. Uh, it's the Aztecs Testers. Now, um, it's not bad paint at all. It just, uh, for some reason, this particular color here, the, uh, there were some dry particles in the paint when I was uh, spraying this body here that you guys see in this uh, in the background there. Um, it's a skyline. I painted it for a friend of mine. <clears throat> so he wanted me to paint it blue, and I did have a, a blue. It's a beautiful blue, as you guys can see. Um, this is the clear that I use for my acrylics. It's a Rust-Oleum lacquer. Works really great. Um, I mean, it's got a great shine to it, as you guys can see there. Um, I might just uh, buff it out. I don't think I'm going to sand it. I might just polish it out, actually. Um, so, what this video is about is I wanted to show you guys what I found to strain my paint, my acrylic paints, or whatever paints you guys use if you guys are having issues um, with some particles in it. And, um, you know, before you go put it in your airbrush, uh, what I do is, is I went to the local store and I found this um, wire... Um, mesh strainer um, in the automotive uh, section which I think is just gets attached to maybe some kind of airbrush or um, or some kind of cap or something but anyways it's very fine and uh, I've seen on YouTube a few videos um, people using nylon and um, nylon is great and all but um, uh, and, and the way the way they were using it is they were attaching it to the top of the bottle and screwing the cap back on. Now what what happens is the nylon stretches when you do that, and the holes get <coughs> excuse me get a little bit uh, bigger. So you're not going to catch as much uh, dry particles as you wish. So I found this to be really really great, guys. I'm just going to show you really quick. I'm going to shake up this bottle here, and I'll show you how well it catches the uh, dried up paint. Hopefully I get some uh, dried up paint in there, which it looks like I got some. And uh, I know you guys can't see that very well, but I will dip it in this in this um, container of water I have here and, and I'll show you the, the goobers that I have in there. But if you guys can see that, there is some nice chunks of dried paint in there. Um, and so what I'll do is just get the access, and there you guys go. As you guys can see, I'm just going to come around here. You guys can see all that dried paint in there. That's pretty nasty to get inside your airbrush. So that's what I was getting on the paint of this body, and I had to uh, sand it a few times, and then I figured out that um, you know I did have some dry particles, um, and I had a lot more than I thought. So. Um, this ver uh, works very well, guys. So if you guys are having issues with um, with some paint uh, getting dried up, if it's acrylic or enamel or, or whatnot, um, hey, you know I, I find that works really well. So I just wanted to show this to you guys, let you guys know a little a little tip on uh, straining your paint. So um, that's all I got, guys. Um, I do have a little um, few things changing on the bench. I am getting a new bench set up uh, next week, which I'm looking really uh, forward to. And I do have some uh, new kits coming in, uh, which I'm changing a little bit of my um, my build. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Um, I will have um, a video very shortly on, on what's going on on the bench here at uh, BSG Customs. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, happy building. We'll talk to you guys later.